Nay, I enter the house at dumiretso sa kusina. The house remains the same. Walang masyadong nabago matapos ang halos tatlong taon. I smile bitterly because I realize that this house is the sole witness of our moments together. Nilingon ko ang sala kung saan madalas kaming magharutan noon ni Dylan. I find relief when the couch was different already. Hindi na iyon yung dating couch na paborito naming upuan. Princess Iha, anong ginagawa mo dito? Nagtatakang tanong ni Nanay Linda sa akin. Itinaas ko ang paper bag na dala ko. I forgot to give you this. Nandito si Dylan. Okay lang ba sa'yo? Apologetic nitong sabi sa akin. I smiled. Lumapit ako sa mesa at inilapag doon ang dala. Nakita na po kaming dalawa sa garden. Pasensya na anak. After kasi niyang maospital ay dito ko na pinadaretso dahil walang titingin sa kanya sa bahay niya. Hindi naman kasi ako sanay doon. Kaya nang sabihin ng mommy mo na dito na siya pauwiin, hindi na ito umangal pa. Sana okay lang sa'yo na makita siya dito sa bahay. No problem, Nay. This is your house and he is your grandson. Hindi naman po ako araw-araw na nandito sa inyo. Salamat, Iha. Napakabait mo. Ako nahihiya sa nangyari sa inyong dalawa ng apo ko. Sobrang nalungkot ako nang malamang umalis ka at naghiwalay na kayo. Hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin lubos maisip kung ano ang tunay na naging dahilan ng paghiwalay niyong dalawa. I cleared my throat first before answering Nanay Linda. That's all in the past, Nanay. Whatever happened to us before, wala ka pong kinalaman doon. Maybe we are not really meant for each other. Or maybe God has something bigger in store for us. Lumapit ako kay Nanay Linda at niyakap ito. Don't be sad, Nay. What's important is, I am here now. I am not closing doors with Dylan. He's still my friend, but I think... We need to build the foundation again. Have you seen Dylan already? I saw you earlier going to Nana's house. Prince asked me while holding a glass of whiskey. He just barged inside my room. Yep, I went there to give my pasalubong to Nana. Why? Sagot ko at pinagpatuloy ang binabasa. So, have you seen Dylan? Paulit-ulit, I said yes already. He chuckled. Aren't you going to ask what happened to him? No. Nope. Why do I have to ask? I refuse to know the reason behind the scars, the bandage and the wheelchair. I stopped caring about him. Because he is your ex. Kumunot ang nauko sa sinabi nito. I mean, extraordinary friend. Ang dami mong alam. Fine. Dahil chismoso ka, tell me. He had an accident while doing drag racing. Inisang lagok nito ang laman ng basong dala. Nagulat pa ako na may dala pala itong bote ng alak sa kabilang kamay. He poured another glass of whiskey. Actually, it's not an accident. He crushed himself. Bigla na lang ay may kung anong bagay na pumintig sa puso ko. Awa. Marahil nga ay awa para sa taong dati kong minahal. Yes, I totally moved on from him. Bakit naman niya gagawin iyon? Life is beautiful. Because he found out something almost last three years ago. He was so devastated that he couldn't forgive himself, princess. He wanted himself dead. Matiin itong nakatingin sa akin. Wari ko ay inaarok niya ang aking damdamin para sa kanyang matalik na kaibigan. Oh, that might be so hard for him. Bali wala akong sabi dito. Ibinaba ko ang librong binabasa at tumingin sa kakambal. He looks so serious and a little drunk. Napako ang tingin ko sa boteng dala nito. Halos mga lahati na iyon. But why does he have to do that? Does he not care to Nanay Linda and Tita Danny? Hindi ba importante sa kanya ang mararamdaman ng grandma and mother niya? I questioned Prince because I know he wanted me to comment about his friend. Sabagay, he doesn't consider my feelings for him before. Hindi pa rin siya nagbabago. He does what he wanted. Tell me, Princess, ikaw, 
Why do you have to hide everything from us? Were you not considering us as your family? Nagulat ako sa tanong ng aking kakambal. Hindi ko alam kung anong tinutumbok niya sa aming usapan. We are just talking about Dylan. Paanong ako na ang nasa usapan? Hide what? I am not hiding anything from you. What are you talking about, Prince? Tumayo ako at mabilis na naglakad palabas ng kwarto. He is being serious and I am beginning to get nervous. I know his capability when he is drunk. Running away again? If you could have told me, hindi sana nangyari iyon. Wika nito sa akin. You, you could have told me, princess. Kapatid mo ko, sana sinabi mo. He is almost crying. May pagsisisi sa mga mata nito but I couldn't understand it. Ano pa ba ang dapat kong sabihin? You're drunk. I don't know anything about what you're telling me. Miski ako'y naguguluhan na sa pinagsasasabi nito. Did I make something wrong to him? Kahit gaano ko isipin ay wala akong maalala. Are you two fighting? Mom asked us. Mukhang narinig yata ang pagsigaw ni Prince kaya napalabas mula sa kwarto ang mga ito. No, Mom. We're just talking. Prince is kind of drunk already. Napatingin si Mommy sa hawak na baso at bote ng aking kakambal. Son, I think you need to go to your room. Dad told Prince, pero hindi ito kumilos at nanatiling nakatingin sa akin. Pagpahingahin mo naman ang kapatid mo, she must be tired. She just came home, pagod pa iyan. Fine, I'll talk to you some other time. Walang lingo na umalis ito. Does your brother have a problem? My mother asked me, nagtataka marahil sa iginagawi ng anak na lalaki. I don't know, mom. He was just asking some random things from me. Hindi ko naman talaga alam kung ano ipinaglalaban ng aking kapatid. Baka nga dahil lasing lang. Okay, take a rest baby. Mom tapped my hair and kissed me on my cheek. Good night baby. Dad kissed my forehead. Muli akong bumalik sa kwarto. I made sure to lock the door so Prince couldn't come in. Hi princess. Good morning. You look fresh and beautiful in the morning. Bati ni Bobby sa akin. Wala talagang pinipiling lugar ang walang hiyang ito. Kahit nasa harapan ng pamilya ko ay napakabulero. Feel at home na talaga ito at nasa hapag na kasama ang family ko. I can see that Nanay Linda and Dylan joined us also. Dylan looked good with his hair being tied. Wala na rin ang mahaba at makapal nitong bigote. He looked fresh and neat. I know... Mom invited them to join us. He's not with his wheelchair. My crutch sa tabi ng upuan nito. I thank God silently because he seemed to recover. I want him well. Good morning everyone. Sinadya kong pasiglahin ang aking boses kahit pang halos walang lumabas sa bibig ko. I was late to go down because I wasn't able to sleep easily. Prince words keep on playing in my head and I am kind of disturbed. Iniwasan kong mapatingin kay Prince. He is busy eating his food. Hindi man lang ako tinapunan ng tingin. O baka dahil nahimasimasa na ito sa mga nasabi niya sa akin kagabi. Good morning baby. May lakad daw kayo ni Bobby today? Daddy opened the conversation while I am putting some food on my plate. Yes dad, I am going to find a place for myself. Napatigil si daddy sa sinabi ko at tumingin kay mommy. At sasamahan po ko ni Bobby na pumili sa townhouses natin. I am planning to find a place near our office. Sa penthouse sana. But then, I will be sad alone there. I told her to find a place dito. Tapos pagawa na lang siya ng house niya according to her choice of design. But she doesn't want. Gusto niya, readily made. Anak? Why do you have to find a place? You can stay here for as long as you want. Why do you have a loan? Kahit si mommy ay nabigla yata sa narinig. But, mom, we've talked about this before and both of you agreed. Nasa New Jersey pa lang kami ay napag-usapan na namin iyon. I suggested to live on my own 
since I am already old enough. Sabi naman nilang dalawa ay susuportahan nila ako sa desisyon ko. But now? Yes, we agreed. Pero anak, kararating mo palang kahapon. Tapos ngayon naghahanap ka na agad ng malilipatan? What do you think we are feeling right now? Yeah, tita. Nagulat nga ako tumawag kagabi. Ang usapan naming dalawa, next month pa. I don't know what had gotten to that pretty mind of hers. I wanted to curse Bobby for telling them our plans. Minsan talaga, nasosobrahan na ng pabida ang lalaking ito. Oh, I didn't say that I will leave the house soon. Nagahanap lang kami ng possible place but that doesn't mean that I will leave immediately. Of course, I also wanted to stay here and have some bonding with you. Guys, I wanted to ease the tension in our conversation. And how long will you stay with us? Two weeks? A month? Or three days? Sabat ni Prince Usapan. He can be deadly with words at times. He knew that he's the reason behind my impulsive decision. Don't worry, Prince. I'll visit here every now and then. Baling ko kay Prince. Diba, Nay? We have more dishes to cook pa muna before I can finally leave this house. Umaling ako sa matanda. Alam ko kasi magtatampo ito sa akin dahil sa narinig. I don't have the heart to break the old woman's heart. Alam mong susuportahan kita kahit anuman ang desisyon mo, princess. Sagot naman ito. Pero habang hindi ka pa lumilipat ng bahay, magluluto muna tayong dalawa. I wonder where princess got her talent in cooking. Sa inyo pala yun, Nay. Umiti ng bahagi ang matanda sa sinabi ni Bobby. Dylan, your grandma taught princess so well in cooking. I've tried all the dishes and it's superb. Hindi ko napigilang mapagawi ang tingin kay Dylan. He just smiled to his nephew, Bobby. I overheard them talking earlier about their family. But when I entered the scene, Dylan played mute already. All the duration ng pag-uusap ay tahimik lamang ito. Paano ba yan anak? Seems like you need to stay longer with us. Sabi ni mommy sa akin I guess so, mom I think I have to stay longer here So I can have some advices from dad Regarding the company that I will be handling soon Tumingin ako kay daddy at ngumiti Sure baby, I am more than willing to help you I know you can do it Dad said excitedly I can give some advices too You know, your brother is some kind of a businessman too Oh wow, that will be nice to know. Here's your first advice, princess. Never run away from your bottle. Napunas ito ng bibig bago tumayo. I'm done here, guys. I need to go. I got bored staying at home so I decided to tell my father that I wanted to work. Princess, you just arrived a week ago and you wanted to work already? Hindi pa man. I can see you as a workaholic person. Sure ka ba talaga dyan sa sinasabi mo? Tanong nito sa akin matapos kong sabihin ng aking nais. I think that's my purpose in life. I wanted to familiarize the process in the company. And I have a lot to learn from you. Hindi naman sa minamadali ko ang retirement mo, dad. I just feel like I want working. Whatever your reason, bahala ka. But I am telling you anak. Kapag sinimulan mo na, wala nang bawian. Ayaw mo talagang sulitin ang two-month vacation na ibinigay ko sa'yo? He said, Yes, Dad. There's no problem with me. Baka mas lalo lang akong tamarin kapag nagbakasyon na ako. Okay, prepare yourself for tomorrow. Totoo naman talaga na wala nang bawian dahil nang sumabak na ako sa trabaho ay para na ako naging ibang tao. I became so passionate with what I'm doing. I wanted to be good in anything I do. I became a competitive person and gradually, I was able to learn everything I need to know about the company and its process with the help of my father. I became the busiest person I can be. I go home late and I leave the house the earliest I could. During weekends, I will stay inside the room and spend my time reading financial reports and the likes. My mother would tease me as a working machine, and I would just tell her that I need to do it so she can have my father all by herself. 
Can I have a few minutes of your time? Nabutan ko si Prince na nakaupo sa swivel chair ko at nakatingin sa painting na nasa itaas ng pinto ng aking opisina. I just came from the conference room. I had a meeting with the department heads. I am surprised to see you here, brother. I am surprised indeed. Simula nang sabihin ko na naghahanap ako ng sarili kong bahay ay hindi na kami nag-usap pa. What can I do for you? Umupo ako sa upuan na nakaharap dito. Mukhang wala itong balak na umalis sa aking upuan kaya I settled myself on the visitor's chair. Umayos ito ng upo at tumingin sa akin. I smiled at him. It's been weeks since the last time we talked. I missed my twin already. Aaminin ko, isa siya sa dahilan kung bakit nais ko magtrabaho agad. I wanted to be busy and distracted. I don't want to think of things that will break me in the end. I just wanted to enjoy my life and be successful. I'm sorry, he said in a low voice. Tumayo ito. I'm sorry to what I've said and done. I should be more considerate about your feelings, princess. That's okay. We are only humans and you are still my twin brother. I couldn't live without you. You are a part of me that I love so much. It's the truest word I could tell him. But I wasn't able to comfort you when you needed me most. And I blame myself for that. He bowled his fingers and punched the wall. What are you doing, Prince? I shouted to him. Agad-agad akong lumapit dito at mabilis na kinuha ang kamay na ginamit sa pagsuntok sa pader. It's swollen and bruised. Ngunit hindi ako makahuma na may mga dugong pumatak sa sahig. Blood! Blood! There's a blood! I got hysterical with the blood on the floor. It should not be there on the floor. I sat on the floor and wiped the blood with my own hands. Prince is still standing in front of me. The blood on his hands keeps on falling on the floor, and I keep on wiping it back and forth. Princess, stop that! Pagbabawal niya sa akin. Hinihila niya ako patayo but I should not let the blood on the floor. Kaya patuloy ko yung pinupunasan ng aking kamay. The blood stains almost ruined the carpeted floor. What are you doing? Itigil mo na yan. Prince leveled his eyes on me. He is kneeling in front of me. Kinuha niya ang mga kamay ko. Stop it! It's just the blood from my knuckles. He hushed me. Then, I started to sob. My eyes went back on the floor. No! It's the blood of my child. That's my child, Prince. That's my child. I cannot help it anymore. I cried harder when I remembered the day I lost my own child. The blood was scattered on the floor, coming from my thighs. I remembered how I buried my child alone, putting that little angel on a jar and leaving him alone here in the Philippines while I busied myself studying in New Jersey. I wanted to forget everything that had happened before, but it keeps on haunting me. I'm sorry, princess. I'm sorry. Yakap-yakap ako nito habang humahagulhol. I'm a bad mom, prince. I wasn't able to keep my child alive. If, if I could just bring back the time. No, you're not. Wherever he is right now, I know he's happy for her mom. You're a tough little princess. He must have been proud of you. I cried again. I wanted to keep him so bad. But the doctor said that he's gone. I wanted to tell him the story of my still unborn child, his supposed nephew. I know my little angel is a he. He's just so little. Prince just keep on hugging me while crying too. I wanted to tell you all about my little angel but how can I? I wiped my tears using the back of my hand. Let's tell mom and dad about this, he said when I calmed down. I don't know if I can make it, Prince. I don't know if they would understand me. May mga agam-agam ako na hanggang ngayon na hindi ko kayang panindigan. 
I am here. I will be by your side. I will be the best uncle for your little chump. He deserves to be recognized. He deserves to have a family. Muli ako na paiyak sa sinabi ni Prince. What he said are the things I wasn't able to give to my son. He wasn't recognized by our family. He wasn't able to be recognized by his own father. Hanggang sa mayamaya pa ay bumalik sa akin ng alaala ng nakaraan. If you really love me, let me go. Let me go, Dylan. Tapos na tayo. Hanggang dito na lang tayo. Lumuwag ang pagkakahawak nito sa akin kaya naman mabilis ako lumayo dito. Numausdos naman ito at napaluhod sa harapan ko. I just can't let you go like this. May nang sambit nito. I can hear pain from his voice but I don't want to listen. Sinarado ko ng isip at puso ko para sa kanya. Huwag mo naman ako saktan palalo. I've had enough pain from you. Let me go, Dylan. I run towards the elevator. Hindi ko alam tana kung binatitinginan ako ng mga tao. I know I am in mess right now. My phone kept on ringing inside my bag. It's Eliza who is calling me. I forgot that he's at the other door waiting for me. Hello, Princess. Where are you? I don't know, Eliza. I am here on the street. I don't know where to go. Oh God, just stay wherever you are. Pupuntahan kita dyan. No, I want to be alone right now. Don't be selfish, princess. You are not alone. There's a baby inside you. I'm sorry, baby. Sapo ko sa akin dyan. Kung hindi pa na-remind sa akin, Eliza, hindi ko pa maaalala na hindi na pala ako nag-iisa. I am already carrying an angel inside my womb. Hello, princess. Where exactly are you? Tanong muli ni Eliza sa akin. I am just standing here on the side of the road. Don't move. I'll be there in a few. Sinunod ko naman ang sinabi ni Eliza sa akin. I stayed for a couple of minutes but I can feel that something is wrong with me. I can feel pain in my lower abdomen. I easily called Eliza. Eliza, my stomach is aching. I will go to the nearest hospital. Can you follow me there? That's what I'm telling you. You cannot be stressed, princess. Take a cab and go to the nearest hospital. I'll follow you. Take care. The day when I passed out and was taken to the hospital by Eliza is the same day I found out that I am pregnant. The doctor advised me to be extra cautious dahil may ina ang kapit ng baby ko. So I think this is what the doctor is talking about. Nakasakay naman agad ako ng taxi. But when I was settled in the passenger seat, I felt an excruciating pain. Pasidhi ng pasidhi ang sakit na aking nararamdaman. Baby, everything will be okay. Just be safe in there. Kausap ko sa aking tiyan. Ma'am, nandito na po tayo. Kaya niyo po bang maglakad? The driver asked me. He can see me aching with the unbearable pain. Ano? P- pwede niyo po ba akong tulungang makatayo? Nangihinaman ay pinipilit kong aking sarili na maging malakas. I should be strong for my child. Bumaba naman ang driver at pumunta sa likuran upang tulungan ako. Sunubukan kong ihakbang ang aking mga paa. But I saw blood on the carpet of the cab. Nihintakutan ako sa nakita at hindi ko napigilang mapasigaw. My baby! Tulungan niyo ako. There is a blood. My baby. Princess, wake up. Nagising akong tinatampal ni Eliza ang pisngi ko. My baby, okay lang ba ang baby ko, Eliza? Agad kong tanong dito. But she didn't answer me. Doc, how's my baby? I immediately asked the doctor when she entered the room. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay, miss? Pinakaramdam ko ang aking sarili. I want to feel that little thing inside my tummy but 
I couldn't find it. I'm feeling fine. How's my baby? I'm sorry. The baby is gone. Sinundan ko ang bagay na tinitingnan nito sa side table. Kusang na malisbis ang luha sa aking mga mata. Gusto kong sumigaw at magwala pero wala akong lakas. Inubos na ng sakit sa dibdib ko ang lahat ng aking lakas. Eliza, gusto ko siyang mawakan. Inabot naman ito ang jar kung saan nakalagay ang aking munting anghel. Be happy in heaven, my love. You will always be inside my heart. I love you so much, little one. Niyakap ko ng mahigpit ang jar kung nasa ng anak ko. Pinakiusapan ko sa Eliza na itago ang lahat. I don't want to bother my family. Wala na rin namang saysay kung malalaman nila. My little angel was gone already. Hindi na nila maibabalik iyon. The day after I was discharged from the hospital, I had my little angel cremated. Ipinalibin ko ang abo niya sa isang private memorial park. Kinausap ko din ang caretaker ng cemetery na linisin palagi ang libing niya ng aking anak. And every day, the caretaker would bring my son a fresh flower gaya ng inutos ko. The reason why I have to work while studying abroad. I have to earn for my son. How are you, my love? Did you miss mommy? Kausap ko sa puntod ng aking anak. Inilapag ko ang fresh white lilies na binili ni Prince para sa pamangkin. I decided to visit him today and introduce him to his uncle. You know what? I have a surprise for you. Uncle Prince is here to see you. He just parked his car outside. Naiiyak na sabi ko sa aking anak. I am thinking that if he is alive, he would be very happy to play with his uncle. I'm sorry if I'm crying right now. I just miss you so much, my love. Pinahid ko ang luha sa aking mga mata. I brought you a toy car. Do you like it? I know he will not answer but in my head, I can picture his happy face. Halos mahiga na ako at yakapin ang libingan ng aking anak. I close my eyes and touch my child's gravestone. Prince Dylan Sebrano Prince Dylan Sebrano What a perfect name. I wish I could bring back the time. I could have held you in my hands, my son. I easily got up and looked for the person who's talking. I saw Prince standing in front of my son's tomb, but I was shocked to see the man beside him kneeling. He is tracing the letters on the gravestone while crying. Prince Dylan Sebrano, my little prince in heaven. He murmured while he keeps on tracing the letters of my son's name. Pulit-ulit niya yung ginagawa habang umiiyak. Dumating pa sa punto na kumahagulhol na ito. My twin brother calmed him up. What are you doing here? Naguguluhan ako na patingin sa aking kakambal. He nods at me as if telling me that it was him who told Dylan about our son. Thank you for naming him after me. Basag na basag ang boss nito at bakas ang kalungkutan. I just look at him as he cried for our lost son. He is weeping for the unborn child I lost because of him. Wala itong karapatan na umiyak. He doesn't deserve to be called as the father of my child. Dahil kung hindi dahil sa pasakit niya sa akin, buhay pa sana ang baby ko.